Yeah, welcome back, guys, to Mars Cloud FM. So today we were going to discuss one widely used feature of PO document, purchase order document, and uh, yeah, I cannot say like it is a widely used, but some of the projects, some of the clients, they are using this particular feature widely in their day-to-day -day applications. So if you observe the PO document at the line level, we have a lines, schedule, and distribution. There are the three, three sections can be seen into the PO side. Let me open that. See here lines, schedules, distribution. These are the three sections which are present under the lines. So this is the header. This is the header section, main section, header section. And this is the line section. Okay. So now we are talking about what is the use of schedule and what is the use of distributions. So the schedule and distributions will be used whenever <clears throat> one particular line, if you want to schedule it, schedule to separate location, schedule to ship to location is different, delivery to location is different, and the date. So, so let's say I ordered some 10 quantity, the supplier will be telling so i cannot send this 10 quantity on that specific date so we can make into separate schedules so 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 on so so on so date or so on so location i can receive five remaining so on so location and so on so date i can receive the five so like that you can make one particular line into multiple schedules that is the beauty of uh, scheduling tab in the new document Okay, what is distributions? So once you schedule, once you split the line into multiple schedules and there the costing. So this particular amount of quantity, I can make it to one purchase uh, PO charge account and rest of the uh, amount, I can make it to different charge account. So like that, we can make a multiple distributions in your PO document. Okay. So let's go back uh, into the system and we'll see how we are going to divide the line into multiple schedules and multiple multiple distributions. Okay. But all the schedules and multi all the schedules and distributions are part of your PO document. See, guys, there are a lot of business scenarios. One PO can be made with multiple requisitions. So the creations can be grouped and create the one PO. Okay. So today we'll see how to do the schedule and distributions. And I'm going to application here. So click on done. So take a simple, uh, always my suggestions, take a simple topic. Understand that and <clears throat> make your own notes so that whenever any guy lasts, whenever any guy will want, they want, like any guy in the sense, maybe interviewer or in the in the day-to-day -day life, so POCs we are doing. So during that time, these notes be very, very, very helpful to you. So if you practice that, it will be a great advantage for your career. Okay. So, I went to manage audits, guys. Just click on search. I don't want to go for new. I want to go for just existing. Just take this one. Go to actions. I'm showing how to copy the uh, PO. So while copying, if you have any attachments for your old PO, you want to transfer that into new PO, click on no. Then it won't do. Click on next. It will do. Click on OK. So system will make one copy of my original PO, and I have two lines in my original PO. So I'm giving something quantity, maybe some ten quantity here. And first, let me save the form. Now, I can go to schedules. 
So if you go to, if you moment, once you move to the schedules, you can see here split. So if you want to make a multiple schedules, then you have to use the split fun, split uh, icon. Just click on split, it will split the first line into multiple lines. See how beauty this is, super, right? Now I can give here some four quantity and you can make here. See here, the guys, you have to remember all your lines. Suppose for example, line quantity is 10, the total split of your quantity must be equal to 10. So otherwise system will not allow to save the form. Now I will make here, this is four. I want to make one more split. This is also two. So that my total quantity is 10 and my split also four plus four plus two. See, line is one, schedule you can see one, two, three. Now, what, what the thing system will allow to change? System will allow to change organization, system will allow to change locations, system allow to change delivery, uh, what you call dates, all those things. So now for checking purpose, I want to change the location to my fiance locations. <laughs> or my ex lover, whatever. See, system will be showing the locations also. Now, what is my concept here is, see the lines, the location was this one, but during schedule, this four quantity please send to my X lover location and this four quantity sent to my primary location, primary CM location, okay? So like that, you can make a split. And here the beauty is the delivery details you can decide. Okay, maybe your X lover is not there on this particular date, you can give whatever date when she is available, okay? <laughs> and the beauty is ship to location, ship, shipping method also you can change. So like that, there are multiple options system will give, make a schedule. So this topic, I'll show the schedules and I'll show the distributions, but once you're receiving it, system will give options of this, okay? And what else system will give? Or receive, if you have anything, you can, but most of the time schedule means the variation of the delivery date, locations, and sometimes even organization also can change. Okay, if you have multiple different organizations. So that is the schedule. Now I, I made one particular line into multiple schedules. Similarly, click on save and go back to the distributions. Just save right, yes. So moment once you go to distribution system will show as per your schedules, how many distributions we have. See, line number one having three schedules, three distributions. So here, see, if you see here, delivery to location is whatever location I have selected in the schedule system has populated that particular thing, right? And then, see charge account, what I was telling, you can change your charge account for different, uh, billing, different costing. Yes, so like that, in the distributions also, we can make split. See, this split will happen based on the schedules. So it will, uh, R, li line one, schedule one, and if you want to make a distribution, yes, you can make it out. So that way, here, the changes, what we have to do, we can change the charge accounts, and you can change even requester, yeah, you can change the request also. So this piece, this piece, I want to cost for this cost center and this particular quantity, I want to cost for different cost, cost center. So different cost center when, so I'll give uh, Dell. Yeah, maybe the cost center are not properly defined, but yes, we can change the cost centers, cost centers and requested in the distributions. So let me save the form. 
click on manage approvals. Peter and then submit. Now, Peter Tyler, let me log into that and I'll show how the once it has been approved, our system will be showing that schedules and distributions. Peter Tyler, correct? Okay, go back uh, to your beautiful incognizant window. So what is the beauty of this? So same application, I can log in with different users. <clears throat> mm. I did not remember his user ID password. Let me wait. Okay, so we log in with uh, Peter Tyler and uh, we'll see whether Hero has got notifications. Yes, he has got that. Approve purchase or recreation. Click on approve. And then you go, go back here. Sorry for that. <clears throat> and uh, click on search. Which one this is? Oh, oh, we are, sorry, sorry, this is agreement page. Manage audits. Click on search. See, now it is open. Once you open that, system will show the schedules and distributions and deliver lines. See, if you go to lines, I have only two. And if you go to schedules, I have a three schedules. One, 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 one. So lines are one. So it will show even schedule number. Show all. And even promise deleted also can modify. See, schedules one, two, three, under one. Two, we have only one. So similarly, if you go to distributions, here also one, two, three, and we change something, right? The requester name. So like that, you can make your one PO into multiple schedules and multiple distributions. And while receiving it, yes, we have, suppose for example, like your inventory organization is different, you have to select that uh, during the receipt. When you do that, receive expected shipments, we have to select, we have to have that data access and then you can receive that particular schedules. So if, if, the, if the inventory organization is same, but locations are different. So we go to that specific location. Hope this particular uh, small chunk of uh, PO split and distributions might be useful for your scenarios. So having said that, uh, any kind of uh, questionaries, any kind of queries you have, please post as a comment or share as an email. Okay. And with this, uh, we can wind up the session. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And please don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends so that other servers can benefit. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.